Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 22 of 31 days of horrible crafts and even scarier stories. Today I've got some more spooky stories from Thought Catalog for you. So, let's get into it. When I was in 8th grade, I went on a school trip that was called the Louisiana Tour. It was mostly going around to significant sites in South Louisiana. One of the places we went was Myrtle's Plantation, which is considered to be one of the most haunted places in the country. There are all kinds of stories about the place, but at one point we were standing in a room as a part of a larger group, and the tour guide was talking about something. I don't remember what. As I'm standing there, I start to hear what sounds like someone hitting a piano key. After I heard it a couple of times, I started to look around for the source of the noise. I didn't see a piano, but I kept hearing it. So I asked my friends who were standing near me if they heard it, and they said no. When I heard it again, I said there it is again, and that they must have heard it. They thought I was crazy. So I went back to looking around the room. Everyone's eyes were pointed on the tour guide. <clears throat> except for one woman. She caught my eye and pointed at me and then at her ear with a questioning look. I realized she was asking if I heard it too and I nodded. At this point the tour guide starts telling a story about a soldier who had died there and that he played the piano and multiple guests had reported hearing him playing in the night. I honestly didn't know what to think. I guess I still don't. I talked to the woman as we were all leaving the room, and she had heard the exact same thing as me, but her husband and son had not heard it. When my son was about three, he had an imaginary friend in his room who he used to talk to all the time. He would tell us stories about things she would tell him, and we'd hear him chatting to her at bedtime. We thought it was pretty cute. After a few months, my son said he wasn't friends with her anymore. We figured he was over his phase of seeing her, so we're surprised to hear him still talking to her at night. Then he started not wanting to go to bed and having really bad dreams. At some point, we ended up asking a lot of questions about her. We had assumed she was a little girl, but apparently she was 47. She lived in the wall, and he stopped being with friends with her because she wanted him to call her Mummy. Her name was something like Margaret. She wanted him to come and live in the wall with her. He had told her he didn't want to talk to her anymore, and she wouldn't go away. We eventually moved house, and he stopped talking about her. Funny thing is, when I was pregnant with him, living in the same house, I used to have dreams about a lady sitting at a dining room table in our bedroom, except it was obviously a different era, and the room was not a bedroom at the time. The lady used to knit and make me listen to her giving me parenting advice while her two 20-ish year old sons sat at the table quietly. About a couple of weeks after I was born, my dad's best friend Jim died. They were really close, and one of the last things he wanted was to hold little me before he passed. His wish was fulfilled, and some short time after that, he was gone. Fast forward seven years, I'm now a happy seven-year-old with a five-year-old brother and a recently born sister. One day, the phone rings, and with my mom out and dad in the washroom, I thought it was going to be ignored as we kids were still too young to answer the phone. No call display. We didn't know if there would be a stranger. But my brother broke the rules and answered. Hello? At this point, my dad is out of the washroom and is asking my brother to hand him the phone. He ignores him and keeps listening to whoever is speaking. Before my dad could ask a second time, my brother hangs up, looks at him, and says, Jim says hi, and he misses you, then goes back to playing. The look of shock my dad had is what I remember most about this. A 
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the spooky stories today. As always, all links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and sweet dreams.